What? What? Oh crap. It's July? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh crap, I'm getting so dead, it gets past! Okay, sorry guys. Unfortunately, I wanted to do this video a week earlier, but I got sick. Um, in California right now, it's about, I would say, um, 102 Fahrenheit. So I usually, the kind of guy who doesn't really deal well with heat, so um, it kind of got to me. But I'm still going to do this because I am very loyal to my fan base. So let's talk about the, the June of 2003 which is probably one of the most interesting um, Junes of all time I would say because there's a lot of good stuff that came out in June um, my main competition was originally Wire World because that will be really fitting that I did um, Wario micro games in the month before now Wire World but there was one game that came out in June of 2003 that deserves a bit more attention than uh, Wire World and that's Ultimate Muscle for the GameCube this game has so much history that I don't really know how to start. I only became a big anime fan around 2004. Um, they showed some basic anime stuff in Israel, like Samurai Pizza Cats, but even Dragon Ball Z didn't get to Israel around 2004, so I knew of anime, but I wasn't a fan yet, so obviously I don't even know what Ultimate Muscle is. I mean, now of course I know that Ultimate Muscle is the sequel to uh, Kinikuman, which is the original anime that was in the 80s, but that's not the point. Um, so how would I end up with a game like this, considering the fact it's not even publicly known? There was this little show that talked about video games that's called X-Play. And um, I'm gonna say it again because if people don't know, Adam Sessler is perhaps one of my biggest inspirations of all time. The guy's wit, his knowledge, his humor, I, I wanna be... I'm, I kinda consider myself a younger version of him because I can talk so much about stuff it doesn't make sense all of the time, but you can sense there's passion behind it. And I remember um, the preview they did for this game, and not only I thought it looked really cool, but there was also this joke about this one character called Dick Dick Van Dick. And I know what you're all thinking, and yeah, that is funny. Uh, I never considered myself to have the most uh, prestigious humor out of everyone, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I just played Dick Dick Story Mode again, and uh, even though the voice acting is not the best I've ever heard in my life, because of the lines and the way they're delivered, I've just, just watched some bits and pieces. Mm, not bad, my horse friend! It's Dick Dick. Get a hold of yourself, Dick Dick! Sorry, it must be the Dick Dick in me. So yeah, after that, and after all the X-Play jokes about Dick Dick, I finally got this game, and ironically I actually got it um, three months afterwards, I got it for my birthday, so um, so it was definitely a good birthday, that's for sure. Um, and enough about the history, because I know it, you don't want to hear too much about that stuff. How does the game hold up compared to the other ones that I've been talking about so far? This is probably the hardest game to get into because the controls feels very stiff, and I can't really blame Aki Corporation for... Um, that because wrestling games in general are kind of hard to control. I mean, this is a wrestling game and the people who made it also made the excellent Def Jam Vendetta and Def Jam Fight for New York, which by the way, um, I'm not even a fan of hip hop music to begin with, those games are great. Uh, I think this is even better, but uh, you can even still, the controls are kind of finicky sometimes. It's very uh, robotic, it doesn't really feel fluid at all, but it's still a lot of fun. It's a lot different than a traditional wrestling game. The whole point is not to uh, pin your uh, or point to the floor, but you have to literally drain their life bar. So it's a fighting game disguised, you know, as a wrestling game. So it's, that's pretty much what it is. Oh, it's the other way around. <laughs> Either way, it's, it plays more of a fighting game, but you do have a lot of grapple moves, regular attacks, and by God, the super moves. I think the super moves is one of the coolest things in this game. Not only that once you fill up your bar three meters, you get an individual special move for each of the characters, if you play tag battles, you can have a combined attack of both characters, which is really cool to watch, and I love it. And this game also has a four-player multiplayer, so you can have a battle royale with two other people, which 
I wish I could do that for you guys, but sadly I didn't have any friends over. Maybe when I'm gonna review this game, I will show you how a full play battle is done. I still love this game. I honestly think this is one of the best anime games of all time. I don't care if the controls even aged a little bit. I still think it's very fun to go into. And it's not a serious fighting game. It's a fun fighting game. It has funny dialogue. <laughs> it has great visuals. The cell shading looks really nice on this game. They also made the version on the PS2, I believe, if I can uh, find it right now. Which, of course, me being so talented and knowing... Oh, here it is. Yeah, Galactic Wrestling. That's the PS2 version that came out in 2004. It's not as good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the story mode in it, but it has twice as much characters. But um, GameCube version is definitely better. I don't think it really costs a lot, too. So, overall, great game. If you haven't heard about it, I would recommend check it out. Even the Game Grumps by this point played it, so it has a little bit more of a notoriety behind it. So, I think now people can be exposed to it. And, of course... All the GameCube games I have, I mean, even the Sonic games that I own, this holds such a special place in my heart because it was thanks to this little TV show that I really was passionate about that I wanted to bought this game, and I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't get the recommendation, so... Thank you, Adam, thank you, Morgan, thank you, Tech TV, and yes, Tech TV, not G4, I want to emphasize, for recommending this beautiful and fun fighting game. And I definitely want to do top 10 anime games in the future, that would be really fun to do. Let's sum it up with more of the games that came out in June 2003, and next time I'll talk about July, well, I know I'm, I'm in July right now, but let's have a few days pass and hopefully it's not going to be as intolerably hot here. Uh, it's going to be tough for July. July is always the worst month of the year for me, because there's almost nothing, but um, I'll find something, because it's me we're talking about. See you next time, guys! Big Bad Boys from outer space Get a body slam to human race Wrestlers race to our defense With strength and speed and flatulence Heroes join the operation From different planets and different nations There's an intergalactic federation To monitor the situation Catch each and every confrontation Only broadcast on this station Blah!